today I am going on another adventure. However, this time I'm traveling internationally. Kind of. Hey everybody, it's John Thomas. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking on the video today. If you are new here, I'm an expat from the United States living abroad here in China, sharing my experiences and adventures here on YouTube. So if that is something that interests you, then consider subscribing. I am at the airport now. My DD driver gave me this mask. He told me Merry Christmas. It is Christmas Eve. And I am attempting to go to Macau. Now Macau is a special administrative region of Greater China. It was given back to China in 1999 from the Portuguese. I've been there once before, but if you haven't heard of Macau, Macau is the Vegas of the East, but like mega Vegas. They generate seven times the revenue of what the Strip generates in Las Vegas. I'm staying at a new hotel. I can't wait to get there. I do, however, feel that I might run into some roadblocks on this journey. I have a COVID test, but it's kind of international, but there's no quarantine, but I have a green code. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting situation. We're taking a risk here. Cross your fingers, let's hope it works out. So I did all my research in planning this trip to Macau. I had everything lined up and I misread one line around the requirements. And so I am not able to go to Macau. So I was just denied boarding. Game over. Oh. I wanted to pop in here because I don't feel like I explained it clearly because I was, to be fair, a little frustrated with the whole situation. But in order to enter Macau, you need to have a visa. And I will put a thing up here with the requirements. But basically for foreigners, who have been on mainland over 21 days, I read it as, I just have to be holding a mainland China visa issued by the office of the commissioner of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the People's Republic of China. I stopped there. I didn't read the, in the Macau special administrative region. I didn't read that that was a part of it. I have a permanent resident visa here in China. It says if you're not holding a mainland China visa, which I'm not holding that visa that's issued by Macau, and so I needed to uh, uh, be able to have one of these four, there's four requirements, there's show five here, um, but I'm not able to meet those. So I wasn't able to get the visa. Now what was happening was the hotel was saying all I needed was my green code. So I was getting confused. And then the hotel was also sharing that like, oh, you can get a visa at the border, which was true. Uh, when I went before holding a US passport, I could have gotten it at the border. So basically I didn't read the last four words of that sentence and thought that I could get there and I couldn't. So hopefully that's a better explanation. So now I'm in the airport. And I'm gonna try to pick somewhere to go. I needed to find I need to find a low risk area. I can't find a medium or high risk area to go to, but I'm gonna try to find a low risk area. Since I'm already packed, I have my bags here. I need to find somewhere to go. Let's go find a low risk area to travel to today. I'm thinking Shanghai, Shenzhen maybe somewhere in the south that is a little bit warmer. I'm thinking maybe Guangzhou. Let's let's find what flights are available here in the next little bit. Okay, I'm at the board trying to decide where to go and I decided I'm going to go to Shanghai. It's Christmas time and uh, maybe try to figure out Disneyland or uh, definitely have some friends I can visit down there. Maybe take a couple of day trips. It's a low risk area. 
so I'm headed to Shanghai. I just booked my flight. It leaves like in an hour and a half. So I'm gonna get into the gates here and uh, hopefully get onto the other side. I just finished in the Air China lounge here. So now I am headed to my gate to catch my new flight to Shanghai. I'm already making plans. I am super excited to just get out of Tianjin slash Beijing and go somewhere maybe slightly warmer. I've never been at the airport and just booked a flight all of a sudden. So much fun. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. driver gave me another mask for Christmas. So now I've got Lusa green and Fensa, which is pink. Um, and I was so excited she gave me two. It was awesome. So now I'm headed towards the hotel. I'm excited to get checked in. I did do a Christmas splurge and we'll be staying at a very nice Waldorf Astoria hotel on the Bund with a river view. That's what I ordered. <laughs> That's what I booked. Let's see if that comes true. I'm excited to see the night fun. So as you walk into the entryway, can walk into the bedroom area, which as you can see, so beautiful. The view out of the Bund is incredible. The room itself is just very classic. Here is a view of what it would look like if you were me laying in bed. You can see the actual bund. It's just so fancy. And then you come into the closet and you wait for a moment because it's an automatic light that pops on and you can see that it's quite a spacious closet. And then you move into the bathroom and it's got a huge bathtub with the circular window to the bedroom. And then 
You have a shower with the rainfall shower head. Two sinks. A toilet that creeps me out every time because it whoa, pops open on its own. Very, very cool. What a day. I hope you've enjoyed this really quick glimpse into the travel journey today. This is not what I expected. I expected to be sitting maybe at a machine gambling in Macau at this time. But alas, I am here in Shanghai. Being able to use trip.com was really, really easy. If you don't use trip.com and you are a foreigner living in China, I would recommend it. It's an English site, it works really well. The commission on the train tickets is the only thing that bothers the heck out of me. It's so expensive, but something that might interest you uh, to use if you don't use it already. Thank you all so much for watching this video as I headed to Shanghai. I know it's probably going to be a short one, but more to come. I'm going to be in Shanghai for another day, and then I'm going somewhere else for a day, and then I'm coming back to Shanghai for a day. So if you're interested in this type of content, then consider subscribing to the channel. I uh, would love to have you here. We are almost at 5,000. Could we hit 5,000 before the new year? Oh my gosh, that would be insane. I can't even believe it. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.